the nudge tool from the rail ribbon has now two methods, civil rules and connectivity. Let's have a look on civil rules and what can be done. Civil rules can work on single element. So you can change the element and you can see the movement of the remaining part of the alignment based on the rules. You can't work on interval. It means that if you want to change this trait, you must remove the interval. So just change the trim extend option and remove the interval from the straight. Then you can change the straight. In this case, the radius can't be changed because it's just a simple radius between two straights. As you can see, you are not allowed to change this radius. Of course, you can change through manipulators or properties. The same for this trait, you can remove the interval and nudge this trait. You can see how the remaining part is moving based on the rules. With the connectivity method, we can work on complex only. So you first you must first complex. Then the connectivity method will try to minimize the movement of adjacent elements. Connectivity between elements is maintained as long as there is a solution. And you can see here how other elements are changing. And the behavior is different than with civil rules. When using civil rules or connectivity method, you can use the regression line to see the changes on the slew value on the regression line. You can see here the regression line changing while editing the element. As always, you can do a report to check integrity of elements and connectivity collinearity.